not one of those crazy girls. I'm not one of those crazy girls. Hey guys, so today I'm kind of going to complain a little bit about waiting. <laughs> I got no patience and I hate waiting. <laughs> the fact that I have no patience really kind of affects me negatively when it comes to needing my questions answered. The next business day like kills me. I need immediate gratification, you know what I mean? Like I need it, I need it, I need it. I need immediate gratification. I can't wait the next business day. I mean, obviously I have to, but I still hate it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm, I'm in London right now and I'm studying. Uh, I'm studying in school, I'm getting my master's degree, and I happened to look online on my profile and I was like, what's that? Like, that look, that don't look right. Of course, I didn't figure out that there was an issue until like Friday at like 2 p.m. And even if it is 2 p.m. on a Friday, it's still like way too late to try to get assistance with this kind of thing because folks are already on weekend time, like they're already in that weekend mentality. Ain't nobody got time for me. So that means the next business day is Monday, right? But not even because some people get to work on Monday and they have to catch up on a lot of emails. They might not get to me until Tuesday. You know what I mean? So, and today's Saturday, so it's Saturday right now, which means that I have yet, like I have Saturday, Sunday, and potentially Monday. So I have like three more days in addition to waiting on Friday because that's when the issue actually occurred for me. <laughs> I have like a total of four days to wait before I can get my, my question answered and my matter like sorted out. And I hate that. I hate the next business day. It's not fast enough. Even next day delivery is not fast enough. If I order something, I want it within 15 minutes, damn it. Is that asking too much? Probably. And because I'm in this kind of like crazy mood in which I'm super impatient and feeling like anxious and pensive because there is a problem with my profile at school that could affect my like graduation, I need a wine that's gonna calm me down. And for that, I would go to the Avergilio. It's 100% Sangiovese. It's very good um, wine, actually. But if you ever try this wine, I need to warn you. Like, the Avergilio is not easy to get to know. Like, it's kind of like me in that way. It's not gonna let you in right away. It's not gonna be likable right away. The Avergilio is the wine that needs a second and a third, maybe even a fourth chance before it finally warms up to you and you finally warm up to it. And now I drink it when I'm feeling pensive and tense and angst-ridden and annoyed and I'm worried. When I'm worried about something and I don't have immediate gratification, that's when I turn to the Avergilio. Check out those legs. And that's not sexist, because I'm talking about wine. <sighs> that's better. <laughs> not that wine solves your problems, but like, it doesn't hurt. And that's all I got for you guys this time around. Thanks so much for watching Come Wine With Me. Definitely leave me a comment. Have you ever tried any Italian wines? And if so, what's your favorite? Also, are you impatient like me? Like, like, do you hate the next business day? Is the next business day not fast enough for you? Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I got a lot more videos coming up this summer regarding wine, regarding friendships, like toxic friendships and dysfunctional relationships, and also regarding travel. I'll see you guys soon.